and that we got it going on. And yes, you know, we are crowned with uh, honor and glory, and our worth is worth better than a whole bunch of rubies. But sometimes we can just get a little bit beside ourselves. Yes. And even if, ladies, if you're not married, you know, you're not a pastor wife, that's okay. I told my daughter we was we was eating some um some sausages today this evening, and and uh, Apostle doesn't like pork and stuff, and so I like it, I got a raw beef, and um he was, she was saying, well, mom, why'd you have to get them? I said, well. It's because if your mom didn't get beef, then Come it on. will be a war in the house, and mom don't really want to go through that. And she was like, oh my gosh, here you go again. Just because one person don't want, don't want pork sausages, that, that means we can't have no bacon. <laughs> I said, no, it's not that we can't have none, but just the fact that I said, Demetri, you will understand when you get married. She said, oh my gosh, here we go again. I'm just tired of hearing about that. I said, but the truth is right. Yes. Hey, the truth Amen. is right. A wise woman builds her home. Yes. But a foolish Amen. woman tears it down with her bare hands. Yes. Amen. 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 I know y'all got some of y'all ain't got the dirt and the grit and the grime all under your fingernails being a tore down a man of God and you didn't do what he asked you to do and you know you didn't you really didn't submit. You really didn't honor. You really didn't speak the language of the other party. Oh wow. You gotta speak the language of the other party. Oh wow. Know to speak the language of the other party. Amen. Even Nelson Mandela is quoted for being one of the best uh, leaders in the world, and he, one of his clues was to speak the language of the other party. That's powerful. Ladies, wow. whatever you do, gotta be encrypted. Come with on, Pastor. And submission yeah. and love yeah. and respect. Yes. Even if you don't want to. Yes. You don't want to. I remember it was this time. Oh my goodness, it was this time of my husband and I. We was coming to the church and we, you know, we went to go lay down and he tried to go hug up next to me and really, I was really mad at the apostle, okay? So, you know, I knew a little bit, I had a little bit of godly sense not to say that I got a headache. I knew that because that would have been radar all over, radar all over, radar all over. All over. I, said, I, just, I really don't, you know, I just, and him being the... The, the godly man of God that he is, you know, up there with Jesus and Moses and all, all the saints of the Most High God. You know what? You know, on the Mount of Transfiguration, him being all up there. So like, oh my it's, it's okay. And I was like, oh, that's easy. And sometimes, you know, when you do it one time, it comes a little bit easier to do it a second time. That's it. So, but I thank God that God just pulled my coat tail. I was like, oh, Immediately, immediately I had a full bladder. I'm telling you, that wasn't nobody but the Holy Ghost, okay? Immediately I had a full bladder. I was like, I'm to go to the bathroom. I got in the bathroom. The Holy Ghost came all under me, under subjection, under conviction. I said, oh. So I'm fixing myself up, go back to bed. And then, you know, I, you know, honey, you know, I'm hitting to make sure those pets are still in there. And so, Bring it like she 
Yes. 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 On the inside. Yes. On the inside. On the inside. On the inside. On the inside. So I'm just saying, render unto your wife their due benevolence. Come on. Praise God. Render unto your husband their due benevolence. Come on. Excuse me, what the heck? I believe, man, but I just know how to talk just to be real. You know what I'm saying? You know, 